Welcome back to the channel. It's your host Argento bringing you another bodybuilding video. Now in today's video, I'll be explaining the last week of the cutting phase. And for all those who don't know, I'll explain that as well. And just how the next 17 weeks will be looking for me. I'm, ha I'm happy to be back. It's been a while since I posted a video. New season of my life, Camp Sardin. Excited, I love it, but free time, is no go constantly busy from dust till dawn <laughs> so let's get into this video now if you know anything about bodybuilding you know two phases and bo that bodybuilders go through they have the bulking phase and they have the cutting phase for the past year i've been doing a lot of bulking i've been in i was in the bulking phase to where i was eating a lot i was eating so much food just so that I can gain some muscle, put on some size, just so that when it c came down to the 18 weeks, I'll be able to lose all the weight, still look swoolly goly, and start getting shredded. And now, last week was the start of 18 weeks of the cutting phase, to where all I'm doing is having a calorie deficit. I changed a lot of my diet up. Just so that I'm eating a lot cleaner, doing a lot more cardio to try to burn off the trying to burn off the bulk. Because I've been looking at myself in the mirror these past <laughs> couple of weeks, and I noticed that the belly, the belly is <laughs> got big. The abs are in a nice like five layers deep. So <laughs> I gotta really start working on that. But last week. It went really well like I was eating all my clean food meal prep was definitely a thing that like during my bulking I thought like oh yeah I gotta I got control of this I have a lot of free time but at 7 when at 7 30 you gotta make all your food or right before you go to bed you gotta cook clean it's it's exhausting so that was definitely something that was a big issue was time management and meal prep took a lot out of me took a lot out of my day actually but the diet was pretty good I mean I went through I went through it all I noticed some changes in my body just attitude how I felt 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 really good but definitely like going through the next <laughs> 17 weeks there's gonna be a lot of cravings like right. once a week I get a cheat meal just to keep me from <laughs> going insane and also getting in those calories and those foods that I'm not getting with my diet and that's good like 17 like 18 weeks of just eating just clean 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 it's that's <laughs> pretty tough and I really thought that <laughs> it'd be a lot easier but the path to success is, is tough, and it's long. <laughs> yeah. But going forward, really, it's just the time management that I have to focus on. But other than that, I get, I'm getting four meals in, get a protein shake after the workout, get a few snacks here and there just to keep me, keep me at bay. But it's good. I'm not noticing where I'm really hungry at night. I'm kind of just in the middle. But I did lose a, this week. I, I believe I lost two pounds. <laughs> just from going to camp. Being in the hot sun all day. Playing basketball at night. Just running around constantly. Doing two workouts. I lost a little water weight. And now it's just a slow progress. To get to that point to where I'm starting to look shredded. I haven't. My body hasn't looked like this in a long time. Kind of reminds me of my middle school days. When I was a chunky monkey. But. It's what I had to do. I had to do. I had to go through that medium bulking stage. Just to get. In a good position. To where I'm comfortable. I'm not like oh. Like I look like I got noodle arms. Or I ain't got no chest. Like, I put on some size from last year to now. I put on about 45 pounds. 
not all of it muscle obviously if I did that I'd be <laughs> on the on the juicy juice on the trembolone sandwiches I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one peace